What's up everybody, this is Silent Slayer, welcome back to another P Battle League video. So guys, in today's video, like another awesome team combination for you in Great League, guys. So today we're gonna fight with, we have Jelly Sand, we have Mandy Buzz, we have Prime Ape. Move set of Pokemon, guys, Jelly Sand, we got Hex, Surf, and Shadow Ball. Mandy Buzz, we have Air Slash, Aerial Ace, and Foul Play. And Prime Ape, we have Counter, Night Slash, and Ice Punch. So in this team, I use Jelly Sand as a lead safe server. We have Mandy Buzz and Coverage and Finish over. We have Prime And Guys, watch the video till then because I got like so many bad lead, but still win with this team. So here we go, don't miss any match. So let's get straight to the first match. Let's see what opponent got. I'm guys, if you feel like new on my channel, so please subscribe. And if you did subscribe, so watch my video till then. It's Jelly Sand versus Craft, as I told you. It's like really bad cell. He's trying to catch his move on Mandy Buzz. Unfortunately, he just saw my Mandy Buzz and he just switched to his Travia. Let's go for the foul play. I think Mandibus can survive his one brave bird, so not gonna shield it. I hope my Mandibus can survive. But unfortunately, it's not. He doesn't survive. Let's bring out Jellison and farm himself with the hex because he got already the defense well. And if he definitely definitely gonna bring his Scrafty, I'm gonna use my shield here because one foul play at least take it like my 70% of my health. Let's deliver back to back surf here. And after the both the surf, I'm gonna switch to my prime app. I hope he doesn't have any charm or Pokemon in his team. And let's see. Yep, yeah, let's bring out Charlie. And opponent just switched to uh, his uh, skunk tank. It's like a safe swap. It was like not good uh, good in, uh, in front of Prime, but not bad also. I'm gonna shield this here because Prime is like squishy Pokemon guys and I have to take it out skunk tank. And yep, we just got the ice punch here. We need to deliver 2-3 counters on Scrafty. And... You can see guys, we almost got the Night Slash here, but we just little bit missed and I hope my Jelly Sand can survive, so I have to deliver one surf. Yep, he just survived guys, so it's like a really tough situation for us because I know he got the like another charge move here guys. And it's like, as you can see, it give you like boost that you're gonna win or you're gonna lose. This is like a best part of Great League, that's why I love to play Great League guys, guys, you can see I just slow my video speed. And Jelly Sand just survive on like, I don't even see it's like 1 HP or half HP. And we got this up GG for us guys. I didn't see Jelly Sand any HP here. Moving on to next battle. Jelly Sand versus Nocturne. Another bad start here. But let's trying to catch his move on Mandy Buzz because can't switch to can't switch to our Prime also because like weak against Sky Attack. And yep, we just did the Mandy Buzz left. But I didn't think he, he can't see. I let's see what attack he's gonna do. It's yep, it's in Sky Attack. He just saw my Mandy Buzz. He can't can't catch the move. And he just bring his Regis Shield. Another counter because Mandy Buzz like not do. Uh, good against Reggie Steeler because one zap can on focus plus do massive amount of damage on Mandy Buzz. As you can see one focus plus almost taken. Let's play a foul play. Aerial is both alike do same amount of damage. We can't do anything here. I hope I can clear one more foul play. But unfortunately he just got the focus plus and finish my Mandy Buzz. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bring out Prime up here and farm his whole health with the counter. And let's see what he's gonna bring. He definitely bring his Nocturne. Let's surprise him with the Ice Punch. I hope he doesn't use his shield. Unfortunately, he just know I have like the Ice Punch. So it's like pretty bad for us. I'm gonna use my shield here because one shot for Prime F, one Sky Attack. Let's use his Night Slash this time. Let's bait down his both the shield and trying to catch his Sky Attack on Jelly Sand. Because Sky Attack doesn't do much damage on Jelly Sand. And yep, we just did the catch of the match. Jelly Sand can easily survive Sky Attack. And it definitely it's not in Shadow Ball. And let's see your third Pokemon he got. Another close match guys, as you can see, I told you so many bad lead but still win and he got full health of Langdon. So we got only one advantage if we have one shield. Not gonna shield because I think Jelly Sand can survive but let's see you go for the Shadow Ball guys. I did a like really big mistake here. I shouldn't go for the sub. At least do some amount of damage so it's easy for Prime Up to take him down. So I have to farm it down his health with the counter and let's deliver back to back Night Slash here. I hope I can get the attack buff. And yep guys, you can see like God like hearing me and I got the attack buff and this night slash is the finish for Langton. GG for us guys, another close win. As you can see, Prime is like already in low HP. Moving on to next one. Jelly Sand was his best shield on. Let's he just switch to Ferrothon, so let's bring out our Prime. I'm gonna shield as you can see the damage of power if you guys almost take it out of my Prime. Prime is like squishy Pokemon. You can't rely on a Prime, but he have like this, some wicked move, counter, knights as you can see, take it out Ferrothon, didn't even any, any shield. And yep, opponent just uses both this shield now, so we got the advantage. I'm gonna shield here because one power rip do some damage on Jellicent also. Let's see what he got, and he got the wish cash. 
And my last Pokemon is the Mandibuzz and his last Pokemon is the Bestiodon. So we have to take it out which cast first. And he just survived on low HP but I can't take the risk. I'm gonna use my shield because it's Blizzard. Do some big amount of damage but yep it's a Mud Bomb. So this one is the also Mud Bomb. Doesn't do much damage. So let's deliver two soft at least on Bestiodon. So it's easy for Mandibuzz to knock him out. I'm gonna first go for the stuff and then go for the Shadow Ball. Yep, super effective. Let's go with the Shadow Ball this time. We need we need to deliver 2-3 foul play to knock him out. Let's bring out Mandibus immediately. We can't have some time and I think Mandibus can survive once too. Because Mandibus is like also tanky. Yep. He just survived. Otherwise if it's Altaria or something else, Tallow Flame will be gone. Yep, we almost take him because we need like 1 Hex to knock out Bestion. Another GG for us. Let's see another close win. Jelly Sand survivor on HP. Moving on to next battle. Jelly Sand versus Pelipop. I have to start. Let's go for the Shadow Ball directly. Not trying to bait down any shield. Yep, we almost take him. And he go for the Hurricane also, guys. And for but that good for us. I got this off. So I beat the. Pelipper here, so we got the advantage. Let's see what he's gonna bring. Hey, bring Scarf Key. So let's bring out Mandibus. Farm himself with the Air Slash. Go for the Aerial Ace. And his attack like Power Up Punch. Foul Play. You don't have to any worry about. So let's see. And I know he's gonna switch. And yep, he just bring to Stunfish Galarian. Let's bring out our Prime Ape. Prime Ape counters. Night Slash. Ice Punch. Do some little amount of damage. And I'm gonna use my Shield because yeah, I have to only take out Stunfish Galarian. Here. And I think opponents should quit here. I don't know why I still play. I still think he have chance to winning. Not gonna shield. Let's see what he got. Some power up punch. Prime is like taking this crafty and stuff. Figure it also. GG for us. Moving on to next battle. Jelly Sand versus Dragon Am. Every stat, but we got the upper hand because of Shadow Ball. And he attack like Aqua Tail and Body Slam doesn't do much damage, but the damage of Dragon Breath, as you can see, guys, really big. Go for the surf first, bait down his shield, then go for the shadow ball to surprise him. Yep, that's what my plan is, and I hope this one doesn't use shield. Yep, it's bye bye to Dragon Eye. Oh, he just saw him on low HP, guys. Pretty bad. Not gonna shield, and yep, we just saw him also. That's why I didn't shield. And he got the Travenant at the back, so let's bring out our Mandibus. Farm himself with the air slash, and the, just like Scrafty, he's attacked like Seed Bomb. Shadow Ball doesn't do any much damage. And he just brings his Swampert and opponent just sit in the GG for us. Moving on to next battle. Jelly Sand versus Malama. Bad start because Malama is like the dark type Pokemon. He can do foul play also. Let's try to catch his move on Manti, but unfortunately he just saw my catch. Let's see what he bring. He just brings his Kamori. Let's go for the foul play. So as you can see guys, this will like really perform really well in Great League. Use these use this team prime is like also good because there are like a lot of uh, uh fighter we in Great League, you have Reggie Steel, Stung, everybody got like Stung Fish Galarian, that's why I picked Prime Ape. Let's go for another Night Slash, knock him out. Yep, let's see what he's gonna bring. Malama or something else. Alright, just bring him, I'm not gonna shield, I'm gonna save shield for... And yep, we just survived, but uh, that's good that he, he drain out his, all the energy on Mandibus, which is really good, let's bring out... Jelly Sin and directly go for the Shadow Ball. Yep, do some big amount of damage, guys. You can see almost you're gonna shield this here definitely. And let's see what third Pokemon he got. And he got the Medi Cham at the back. Another GG for us, guys. Easy win, easy battle. As you can see, guys, these things like really dominate in Great League. I don't know why he still play. We still think he have a chance of winning. Because it's like Ice Point, Psychic, doesn't do much damage and I have like the full Prime of health ready. Not gonna shield, let's see what he got. And psychic, but we still survive, let's go for another serve. We bait down his both the shield on serve and we deliver the fourth serve here. So bye bye to Medichem. GG for us, moving on to next battle. Jelly Sand versus Shadow Gran, I have to take it out Shadow Grand Bull, but let's see. But it's not the charm one, so but I think he have definitely played up. Because both the Pokemon like Mandibuzz and Prime was like weaker against Sham, so we have to take it out Grand Bull first. And we got the, we could definitely go for the Grunt, so gonna shield this here. But I didn't go for the player, but I don't know why. And he just catched my move on. And see Lapras. Let's bring out 
Prime immediately farmed down his health with the counter. Go for the Knight Slayer, doesn't do much damage. But we got the, I think, we got, I think, I, I think I got the attack buff, but. Go for the Surf, take it out of my Prime if. Let me just bring his Grand Bull, so let's bring, we'll go for the Crunch here. Do some notable amount of damage and he just uses shields. That's good for us. We just need to like to deliver 2-3 Hex. Go for the use the shield here, not gonna take risk. Let's farm his whole health with the Hex and he switched to Frostlass in front of Jellicent. Let's go for the one Shadow Ball and bye bye to Frostlass here. And let's go for the two hex on bye bye to Grand Bull. So GG for us, easy win, easy battle. Moving on to next battle. Let's see Jelly send us his Medicham. It's a positive start we have. He just bring his Mandibus. So I'm gonna bring out my Mandibus. I think this man opponent Mandibus have the snarl. So you can see the damage of Air Slash guys like really great. That's why I picked Air Slash. And let's go for the Aerial Ace. Do some more damage than his foul play. And I think he have only one charge move. That's why I go for the foul play but we got the air slash aerial ace both are like do some damage let's go for another aerial ace we got the foul play first we're not gonna shield this guy we don't have to care take uh, worry about that and he got the swamp but his third pokemon guys so let's I, I just win this match easily so i'm not gonna use any shield here let's see i'm gonna win this match or not let's do a no use shield challenge here because i he, see his whole team mary champ swamp but and uh, uh, mandy buzz to back to back, so I'm not gonna use any shield here in this match. Let's go for another surf. He uses shield, he just bring his mandibles. I'm gonna let it go, man. Jelly Center, just as I told you, I'm not gonna use any shield here. Let's bring out Prime F, and he got the Snarl one also. Let's go for the Ice Punch, knock him out. GG, not GG, but. GG against Mandibus and we got both the shield let's see what let's go for the ice punch again and then immediately switch to our Mandibus because I'm not gonna use my shield here so yeah it's a power up point let's bring out Mandibus and he just saw my Mandibus but it already go for the aerial ace on Swampert and unfortunately Swampert got the hydro cannon again not gonna shield as I told you I'm not gonna use any shield in front of him. Again, not gonna shield this year. Yep, it's a power up punch and we just survive. <laughs> Let's go for the aerialist, knock him out. And he just survive a little bit. We need like two, th two, three counter here. So GG for us guys. As you can see, I just got this whole match, but I just play with him. Moving on to next one. Jelly Sandos is something like pretty bad start. I'm gonna switch to uh, Prime Up also, but I'm gonna save Prime Up for last round because if you switch to like Stunfish Gallery and also something, so that's why I save Prime Up. Let's go for the foul play. Let's see Zor. Let's try to over farm him. He almost got the second foul play. Not gonna shield. Let's see. The Tyler X is a knight so it doesn't do much him. Let's over farm him. Unfortunately he got the attack buff and he got the charge move. This one. Let's see what he got. It's X Caesar guys, but we just survive on low HP. Really lucky for me that I just survived. We'll just bring his embryon, so that's good. Uh, now I'm gonna bring out my prime move. He just switch to his jelly scent. So I'm glad to bring out our jelly scent. Prime up can all prime up can also fight with the jelly scent, but if I fight him with my prime up, so who's gonna take his Umbreon? So let's switch to Umbreon. Uh, let's switch to jelly scent is the right thing to do here. I'm gonna shield this because if yep, it's a shadow ball. If it doesn't shield, I'll be gone. Let's go for our shadow ball. I hope he doesn't use the shield because I, first my attack is his serve. Yep, he doesn't use his shield. Not gonna shield because we don't have any shield left. We have to take it out with the prime if I don't know why I go for the foul play. It's like a misstep on foul play. I didn't want to use, but that's good. He uses shield. So like sometime luck is like with you guys. Let's farm his health and go for the ice punch. So GG for us another. Moving on to next battle. Let's see. It's Jelly Sand versus Frost, so it's a good start. He just bring his tongue fish, so let's bring out our prime ape. We got we baby safe so also. I think he go for the earthquake, so no. I'm gonna shield this here, trying to farm his whole health with the counter. And if he bring his frost lust, 
So let's go for the night slash and surprise him because you think I have ice punch sometime often like got confused what attack prime got. As you can see, surprise with the night slash almost take it out like 50% of visual, then we got another night slash ready. This time he 100% gonna use shield. Yep. We got the attack, but we have to let it go. Our prime up here. Let's bring out Jelly and farm his health with the axe and go for the bubble. Go for the surf, sorry. Bubble is like the old attack. Jelly and let's see your third god and he got the maddie gem at the back gg for us because you can see guys this team will like perform really well so that's all for today video guys thanks for watching please do like comment share on my video and please subscribe to my channel